Hi, honeys. How's you all's day going so far? Mine is going fine. Okay, I'm getting ready to make some air fried chicken wings. It's about that time, ain't it? Mm-hmm. Well, anyway, I asked Walter, did he want naked wings or breaded? He said he wanted the same breading we had last time. And this is what we had. The Zatarain's Fish Fry. Crispy Cajun. This was the bomb. Stay tuned. Okay, got two packs of chicken. Because I don't plan on cooking anything tomorrow. So I hope we'll still have some left. So I'm going to wash them. I probably will cut the wing tip off. And I'll be back. Okay, y'all, I'm cutting the wing tips off. And some of you all may be new to cutting up chicken. So, like I said, I'll cut the tip off. So I should have showed y'all. So I just got my good, good quality kitchen shears. And I just fold this wing. So this is, this is with the tip off. So I just fold this wing, keep the fingers out the way, and cut right in the joint. Do another one. Got a lot of them done already. Here's another one. Okay, get right in that joint right there. I fold my chicken and I hold it and get right in the joint. And if you have a hard time cutting through it, it's not in the joint. Okay, there you go. You can hear it, hear that gristle. Let's see if I got another one. This piece is kind of still frozen. Put it right in there. Keep them fingers out the way. Cut. Okay. I think that's it. I hit one. Okay, I am going to dry this chicken off and I'm going to drain the water out the bowl and I'm going to dry it off with paper towel. Then I put my seasoning, I put my mustard on it and my breading. This piece is frozen. It is still cut. Okay, I'll be back. Okay, y'all, uh, I've drained the water off my chicken. And I'm going to take a paper towel and dry the chicken wings. I could put them in a plate and dry them better, but I'm doing this. Just drying them as much as possible and sopping up any water that's in the bottom of the bowl. Because some people say that their breading comes off the chicken. So I think it's because the chicken is too wet when they season it and put the bread on there. So, it's pretty dry. Okay, let me wash my hands while I touch my mustard and stuff. Contaminate the bottles. No battery already? Wow. Okay. I'm using regular yellow mustard to squirt on the wings. Okay. I'm using my, this is a spice blend container I bought from uh, on Amazon. And I put all my seasonings in here. I'm going to season my wings. And I'm going to bread my wings, and the breading is seasoned. But I like that extra layer of seasoning. So I want more than this. I need to fill this back up. Black pepper. I ain't going crazy with the red pepper today. And I'm using some meat tenderizer. 
What was it? Put that meat tenderizer on there. Okay, so I'm using the seasoned meat tenderizer, and this does have salt in it. Sometimes chicken skin can be kind of tough. So I'm just going to smush all this together. I'm going to let this sit. I'm just going to let it sit for about five or ten minutes. Let the seasonings go up through the meat before I actually bread it. And if you use yellow mustard, your food will not taste like mustard at all. Some people hate the taste of mustard, but you can't tell at all that mustard is put on here. Just add something, but not a mustardy taste. Okay. Just gonna let this sit. Okay, I'll be back. Okay, y'all. My chicken has been sitting for about seven minutes. And it's time to bread them. And like I said, I'm using the Zatarain's fish fry. And I use the uh, crispy Cajun. It's spicy. And it's very good. Makes the food crispy, but there's not a lot of salt in it. At least I don't taste the salt as much as I taste in some breadings. Okay, I prepared my air fryer baskets. And by that I mean I put in parchment sheet, perforated parchment paper, just to aid in the cleanup. And I buy them on Amazon. They come in the unbleached, which is the brown, and then you get the white. I just keep a lot of them on hand. Okay. Now I'm going to bread my chicken. I think I need to put some more in here. This is very good. I'm just going to dump it over there. And my chicken is not drippy wet, so the breading is going to stick. Just don't overcrowd the uh, fry basket. I'll be back once everything is breaded. Okay, I just breaded a few pieces. So, check out the excess breading. See there? in there. And I'm going to try not to let the uh, pieces touch because when I go to flip them over, I don't want to pull off no breading. My camera needs to be charged, so I'm just going to grade a few more pieces in here. Let me show y'all my next step. Some people talk about their uh, chicken being done, but they still see the white powder or the flour. That's because uh, you need to spray your chicken. Get one more piece in here on a flat. I like the flat pieces the best. And Walter used to like the drummies the best. But now he copying off of me. And he wants all the flat pieces. Okay, that's all I'm putting in there for now. Okay, y'all. Put 
this camera back completely. Let me get this out of my way. So I buy this uh, Pam cooking spray. Oh yeah, I bought it one time. Then I just keep refilling this bottle with olive oil. And I like the way it sprays. So, it's got a few pieces of chicken in here. So I'm just going to spritz my chicken. Spritz each piece so you don't see the white or the orange flower. And I'm going to uh, air fry it on 400 for how many minutes? 20, 20 minutes since I got this cut in pieces. And I got two air fry baskets. I'm going to have one, the other one on standby. Okay, I'm going to set it for 400 for 20 minutes. And I'm going to check it at around maybe 16 minutes and flip the chicken and spray the other side of the chicken. Let it cook the rest of the uh, time. Okay, let me go charge this iPod. Okay, y'all. It's been cooking for I don't know how many minutes. It's on the 8 now. 12 minutes. Let me show y'all how it looks. Oh, it smells so good. And something I want to tell y'all new air fryers people. Don't ever reach in here to try to get nothing out. Because one of my daughters did that and she got had a second degree burn on her arm. So I always use tongs or something. So I'm getting ready to turn my chicken over. So after I turn everything, I'm going to spray it and put it back in here and let it cook the remainder of the time. Okay, this is what we're going to have with the chicken. Some greens I had a few weeks ago and I froze the leftovers. So I throw them out this morning and walk the song sitting in a bowl. He says, this garbage on the counter? I said, man, I'll be on the news if you throw my food away. It's a candied yams. Okay. Okay, y'all, it's getting ready to stop, so I'm going to take it out now. I'm going to this towel. Okay, this is how it looks. I'm going to put it to the stove. And I'm going to spray this chicken that I have in the basket. I'll see what I'm doing. Let's see how this spray does. Can y'all actually see the spray? It sprays quite nicely. Okay, so we'll put this in here. Oh, let me show y'all how to put it in here so you don't have trouble. Like I just did. Put it at a scooping motion. Put it in this way. Put it in there. I'm going to set this for 20 minutes. And I'm going to turn it at about when it's on the 7 or the 8. So in the meanwhile, y'all come over here to the stove. Take my time. See the other side. Both sides are nice and crispy. And it's done. I, don't, I didn't test it, but it's done. I know it's done. And 
yum yum. You see how the air fry basket looks with the paper in here. So I can just throw this paper away and I still have to wash the basket out. But it's much easier to do this. Okay. Now here's my candy yams, yum, 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 yum. And my greens with the onion in it. It's just to season it. Put a whole onion in it. Mmm, it smells good. Okay, I might as well end this now. You know, I got some more chicken cooking. Um, I'm going to end this now. And then I'll show you all the final results of everything. Y'all probably want to see me taste a piece of chicken. Okay, we can ready this go. This piece is not the best. See, it's nice and crispy brown on both sides. It's cooked for 20 minutes. Ooh. Mm. Ooh, hot. Good and done. Mmm. And it has a kick to it. This is the crispy Cajun Zatarain's fish fry. So it's also good on chicken. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. You like this air fryer chicken wing video, please give me a thumbs up, leave a nice comment, and uh, subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching, and you all have a very blessed day. Bye. But every goodbye ain't gone. Let me show y'all the finished product of all the chicken. Okay. Okay, here's the finished chicken. That's all I'm cooking today. But the more I cook, the more we'll eat, so we got some put up for tomorrow. Okay, I'm going to name this chicken don't need nothing but a good letting alone chicken wings Thus, I tasted that one wing I ate the whole wing and you don't need no hot sauce, don't need no ketchup don't need no barbecue sauce just leave it alone so that's it y'all bye for real close up Yum, 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 yum.